boy. It's been a day. Cool thing is, it's been a good day. Today I went over to the uh, future rolling operations headquarters, we'll call it. That building you saw that I bought with some of that equity. And I went over there and tried to, you know, take a look at maybe the side of the building again. I got a quote for the siding. That's a little higher than I want it to be, but I was looking at maybe windows and all and what it'd take to paint some stuff over there and clean it up and did some uh, spraying over there to kill out some of the weeds so we can drop some new gravel so we can bring some of these uh, storage containers that you see right there on the back of my truck. Actually, that's just on my trailer parked in the street. People probably want that move. So what I plan on doing is throwing down some gravel real quick and actually dropping that over at the storage unit. But what I'm going to do first is you see how my sticker guy takes care of my dumpsters. I feel like it'd be a missed opportunity if I didn't put rolling operations storage on the side of that big old container and then actually dropping it on the side of that building so people kind of know what's coming. I want people to know that that's just going to be a big storage facility where I'm going to keep my dumpsters and, you know, these and they can start renting them from me. So create a little bit of buzz. I'm kind of getting excited for it, um, what that place could become soon. Uh, outside of that, I'm going to run over to the apartment real quick that I own. I'm going to go refresh all the cameras. I need to put new batteries in all of them and actually set them up on a different router uh, from that Blink. If you guys have used Blink, I really do love it. Uh, I've got a different... Uh, device I need to hook it up to in somebody else's apartment. Made an agreement with somebody so I get to use their Wi-Fi uh, to actually run my cameras and I gave them like 25 bucks off a month. 25 bucks off every month of rent which is better than paying $50 a month for like 5 megs worth of data when they have a minimum of like 100 for businesses. So I was like you know what I'll cut somebody a break and then I get to use their Wi-Fi. So works out really well. Cool dude that I'm written to but we're gonna go take care of that. And then I'll show you what that container is going to look like once we get it branded and then drop it off over there at the building. So, whew, windy day. All right, keep it up, guys. All right, so I've got the other container loaded, and as you can see, it's back there. I mean, it is tall. Uh, it stands up, you know, nine feet as it is, and then that's then on top of the trailer. So it looks like a baby semi, and I love it because you get so many looks when you go through town with this thing on the back of your truck, especially a two-door, you know, 3500. It's not a super big truck, so it draws a little bit of attention. So I'm I'm headed to my sticker guy. I'm gonna go drop this off, um, and then we'll pick it up. So I'm pretty pumped to see what he does do it because uh, I need to stand out. I'm gonna put this next to my building, so it's gonna look. It is essentially the first thing people see as they drive into town um, is my building and I want them to know what I'm doing with it so I'm pretty pumped to see uh, what kind of marketing or uh, ideas he has for it so we'll see we'll see what he does how can you not just love how that looks I mean that's hilarious it looks so ridiculous and I love it I love it so much all right I'm leaving I left him the trailer we worked out exactly what we want to do. I mean, doesn't that look kind of silly? Sitting there like that, you know? It'd be kind of funny if somebody tried to steal it. I mean, honestly, it'd probably be somebody with some crappy truck that shouldn't be pulling it, so I almost dare somebody to. It would make for a good story. I'm rolling up right now, and I can see my storage unit. I love it, I absolutely love it. He only was actually able to do one side because he only had enough vinyl for one, but I'm actually gonna go drop it off somewhere and then we're gonna keep it there for a while and then when he gets more vinyl we're gonna come in and you know add to the other side so you know you drive past you can see it from both sides but this will actually be pushed up against a wall for a while so it ain't gonna matter but man i love it dang i love it look at that that is awesome that is so cool all right everybody i apologize if there's some wind in the video but it's a pretty windy day but I brought the storage unit out. If you've seen the uh, previous video, this is soon to be, I guess, Rolling Operations Headquarters. It's about a town over from where I live, um, but it was a very cheap building. Comes with a couple garage doors and a couple more in the back. Um, and it actually has uh, one area that's like an airplane hangar. I actually came out here because I'm gonna leave this trailer and uh, storage unit out here. I'm gonna get this all graveled here soon so I can actually drop a couple storage units with the branding 
right next to the building. And as you can see, this building's in dire need of some love. So I'm actually gonna take and see how easily I can power wash off some of this just crap. I mean, look at this. Looks like somebody used some interior latex paint on this thing not too long ago. I got a bid for a, uh, a siding job for this whole building, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, it was a pretty decent bid, but I'd rather almost spend the money to actually fix these windows and then paint the building. Uh, so let me know if you think if that's a good idea or not. Um, you know, maybe I'll be in this exact situation here later in a couple months. I sure hope not. But my hope is that if I just give it a fresh coat of paint with the proper stuff and some new windows, this whole building will have a whole new look. You know, and then again, I have the branding. <coughs> <laughs> excuse me not covid promise and the storage unit on the side so we'll see what happens let's see what a power washer will do to this all right everybody so i'm already home it was a long day i started doing some of the power washing on that building where i actually just took that container to it's sitting on the outside of the building and funny thing is while i was power washing some of the building uh, and knocking some of that paint off i actually got a call right away somebody was like hey what does it cost to get one of those uh, storage containers out there so it's amazing just what a quick sticker can do and draw attention to your business so just you know keep that in mind you know if your brand doesn't exist you don't exist and that's probably the most important lesson you can get out of something like this. But uh, uh, we're doing a lot of work there. I got tired of doing that real fast and I started going through my week realizing it's going to take me a while to power wash that thing if I'm only doing it a couple hours at a time. So I put out a quick post and I'm actually going to be paying a family member actually to finish power washing that. And then a buddy of mine are going to come back and we're going to do a little uh, tuck pointing and touching up some of the... Uh, cracks in those cinder blocks so that we can actually come back and repaint it. I'm actually thinking about doing like a Linex or some kind of stone paint, something that's really durable, a little bit of texture on it. So let me know what you think. Um, that way I'm saving a little bit of money. I'm not doing that siding on the building like I originally uh, thought about because I need new windows and all kinds of other stuff on that building. And I think the real value add would be in new garage doors, new windows, um, you know, some other things cleaned up other than trying to side the building. I think that just a real good fresh coat of durable paint of some sort would do the building a lot of good. So, like I said, that storage unit is looking really good sitting there. First thing people see is they drive into town and that's what I love about it. But if you've got a business, you got to brand your stuff. you got to let people know what you're doing and... A quick sticker job is so easy. Storage is big, guys. Money while you sleep. You're literally renting out something and paying it off by letting somebody store their belongings in it. And usually, I mean, they'll rent that thing for years. Years and years and years. The store stuff in it that they only get out maybe once a year. Christmas decorations, lawnmowers, uh, you know, four-wheelers. Things they touch only every once in a while. So storage is a big business and I highly recommend you need to think to yourself what is the money making things I can do that just pay me while I sleep storage is a big thing it's dumpsters rental properties all these other things these are what investments are this is what you're putting your money towards don't think about that Xbox don't think about that PS5 PS10 iPhone 12 Galaxy you know 55 think about what can I pay for right now that will somebody else can pay off and eventually just start cash flowing and making me money while I'm sleeping. Those are the things you need to think about so you're not working until you're 65, 75, 85. You want to be done or willing to quit your job when you're 40 because you can. That's the way you need to start thinking. Think long term. Long term. Long term. Not short term, guys. Best of luck. Have fun out there. Let me know what you think. Let me know your ideas. I want to hear them. I love seeing those comments. Make sure to like and follow and see you next time.